Hi friends and welcome back to the control engineering gig. Today we are going to learn how to draw body plot for transfer functions that have unstable poles. Okay, we have a transfer function here. As you can see, it has an unstable pole at a plus four. So let's start uh, the steps of drawing a body plot for such transfer functions. Okay, let's, the first step is normalization and scaling. We normalize this transfer function uh, as we did in a previous example. Just take out the factor out each uh, pole <coughs> or zero. As you can see here, I factor out uh, this first pole. I took out this uh, two, this four, but I didn't take it the four with the uh, negative I just took the value the absolute value of 4 and took out 10 as well as you can see here in the final format here so I can write this transfer function the original transfer function in this normalized and scaled up uh, <coughs> form the second step is doing the our drawing a table this table has all information about each term of this transfer function about each uh, zeros and poles so let's start with the zeros we have two zeros here at the origin okay so they add up uh, as their slope so each zero will contribute a plus 20 decibel per decade uh, in total of uh, two zeros there will be four 40 uh, decibel uh, per decade slope they don't contribute any frequency breakaway uh, and <clears throat> each zero will uh, give a plus 90 degree at any frequency since we have two zeros so a total will be 180 at all frequencies let's go take the the second uh, pole here or the uh, second theorem which is the first pole in the denominator so this is a pole that uh, this the pole gives minus 20 decibel per decade it has a breakaway frequency at 2 uh, radian per second uh, since we are dealing with a single uh, pole so each pole will give uh, 0 degree at the frequencies close to 0 and minus 90 when the frequency uh, approaches uh, infinity same with the uh, my, uh, <coughs> pole with the four. It has a break. Uh, it has a slope at minus twenty. It has a frequency at four. However, this is the difference between a stable and an unstable pole. Stable pole usually give a zero degree at low frequency. However, unstable pole give, gives minus eighty, uh, one hundred eighty at uh, frequency close to zero however both give minus 90 when the frequency goes to our approach uh, infinity uh, same information can be extracted for the pole at minus 10 which has a, a <coughs> slope at uh, minus 20 decibel per decade frequency 10 radian per second 0 to minus 90 uh, uh, <coughs> contribution of the frequencies or, or the phases uh, between frequency 0 and infinity so if you add up those two columns here you expect that the phase plot your phase plot final plot should start from 0 and ends up at minus 90 uh, there is a point I want to focus on here uh, all the zeros and uh, the poles here uh, are real uh, uh, real roots okay we are not dealing with the complex uh, ones we all the roots uh, here uh, whether it's they are zeros or poles they are real values they are they have finite values they are not complex so if we face out with a complex pole that will be another video uh, <coughs> I will explain it in another video okay 
let's uh, do the third step with the magnitude that uh, the uh, <coughs> the beginning point on the magnitude plot so we take uh, <coughs> our factor out or normalized transfer function and introduce a very small uh, frequency and it is 0.1 or 0.01 as you like okay and try to do all the calculations here uh, keep in mind you you uh, ignore this value here in compared to one okay you will do it for all the values in the pulse however in the zeros you wouldn't ignore this value here and you have to compute uh, 0.1 j square so the final value will be this value this is the magnitude of the uh, transfer function when the frequency is uh, at 0.1 radian per second take the 20 log of this value you're going to end up with minus 38.1 decibel this is the starting point of your uh, magnitude plot when the frequency is considered to be 0.1 right per second okay let's start doing the plot part by part <coughs> this is the log log uh, axis let's start with five uh, with the magnitude uh, combined with the zeros you can start with the magnet alone and the zeros alone but it's better to combine both of them the magnitude with the zeros or uh, or any uh, roots that that are on the um, uh, on the origin okay so if you have uh, zeros or poles in the origin you should uh, combine it with the magnitude you got it from the normalization this makes the plot much much easier so we start uh, at minus 38 uh, with a slope of minus uh, of a slope with a uh, plus 40 this is the first uh, <coughs> term in the uh, table that we draw up earlier okay if you want to know how to draw uh, a plus 40 uh, uh, decibel per decade so you can uh, take a line like you see from here from minus from zero to 40 okay over a one decade this is one decade from uh, 0.1 to 1 this is one decade uh, 0 40 so this this triangle <coughs> sorry this triangle has a, a, a slope here in this uh, part of plus uh, 40 decibel per decade okay let's go to the uh, pole at two okay uh, we have uh, a pole at uh, plus uh, two uh, plus two radian per second the breakaway frequency to two radian per second so since it's a pole it will have a magnitude uh, a slope of minus 20 decibel per decade okay uh, let's take the zero uh, the pole at minus four the magnitude will be the same you come uh, start from zero until four radian per second which is which is around here and the slope will be minus 20 as well the last one uh, the pole we have at uh, minus 10 so it starts from zero to 10 radian per second it also has a slope of minus 20 decibel per decade okay let's draw up the zones we have here we have three zones one at two which is comes from this pole one at uh, four which is come from the unstable pole and another one is coming from the pole at 10 which have three zones we expect to have a different plots around here okay let's start with the first one with the zone here the zone here the contribution are coming from this value which is uh, the magnitude plus the zero the two zeros at the origin so it will be from minus uh, 38.1 and goes up uh, until this point this point here uh, the blue one which is the pole at minus two start up to dominate the plot so it will take uh, a minus 20 a decibel per decade from the uh, slope that the red line has here so the slope will decrease by minus but okay this goes until 
we reach a zone where the green is active again so this uh, uh, <coughs> line of the minus 20 decibel per decade as a slope it's and so both will have a minus 20 which cancel up the value line so it will be a straight line here this continues until 10 at 10 we have the black line that comes from the slope uh, the pole at will add uh, a slope of uh, minus uh, 20 per decade and it goes to infinity so it's much much easier if you divide up the domain here by the frequencies of each uh, zeros or pole and then try to add up or subtract uh, whatever you have in each so on so the geek is now happy he will be impressed by the all uh, the values we uh, compare with the MATLAB. Okay, the blue one is up, and this one is uh, what we got so far. Okay. Uh, face apart. Also, we will apart, but we don't deal with the magnitudes here. We start up with the zeros. The zeros uh, will have contribute plus ninety degree at all frequencies. So we have two zeros so in total we have 100 for all frequencies for the pole at minus two okay so we have a break uh, break frequency at two so uh, one decade before two is 0.2 one decade after two is 20 so we'll point out point here point here the face for the portion of the transfer function from zero until one decade before the breakaway frequency which is 0.2 here and decreases have a slope of minus 45 until it reaches one decade after the breakaway frequency which is a 20 here and will uh, continue at okay for the stay unstable pole here see the effect of the instability Okay, so it would start up for all uh, uh, stable poles do. So the unstable poles starts from minus 180 uh, until uh, break break frequency uh, one one decade before the breakaway frequency, which is uh, which point four will be here, and will uh, continue to be minus uh, 90 as all poles do, whether they are stable or non stable for high frequency. So we have here four, we have, uh, sorry, we have here 40, and at this point is 0.4, so the breakaway frequency is 4, so it's one decade, 0.4, one decade after is 40. Okay, continue for the pole at minus, 90, uh, minus 10, so it starts up at zero until one decade before the break frequency, which is one, and uh, uh, the, uh, inclined with a, uh, a slope of minus 45 degree per decade until it's just uh, one decade after the break frequency which is 100 okay let's also divide the this uh, domain here so each break awake frequency uh, one decade before and one decade after it uh, will give you uh, a division so we have breakaway frequency at 1 minus 4, uh, 4 and 10 so it will be 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.2 sorry so uh, we have at 2 4 and 10 so it will be 0 0.2 0 0.4 and 1 and this these are before the uh, breakaway frequency one decade and one decade after the breakaway frequency so we will have one at 20 uh, 40 and 100 okay let's start up uh, drawing the frequencies here so we have uh, minus 90 minus 100 and uh, 80 plus 119 and 0 so it will be zero contribution so here uh, the blue one will take uh, part or dominate the uh, the plot between uh, 0.2 and 0.4 so it will have uh, a minus uh, 45 degree per decade that coming from the blue one 
after that the green one will take a part as well so they both have uh, different frequent uh, different uh, slopes so this will be a straight line here because this has a slope of, of plus 45 this has a slope of minus 45 so they cancel out each, each other and we will have a straight line over here okay after that the black line will also uh, dominate the the frequency or the phase versus the frequency so it will have a 4 minus 45 degree per decade until it reaches this point at this point the blue out will cancel or will be a minus a constant minus 90 so the dominated lines are the black the and the green with the uh, red one so it will be each one cancel out so it will uh, have a straight line again until we reach this point where the green one also cancel out so the only one dominated is the black again until it reaches zero here so we have a zero here at this point so we uh, at this point we just sum up these two lines over here which was uh, 180 minus 90 so it will be uh, <clears throat> minus 90 as a domination this part here so if you go back to the uh, the table we draw up uh, earlier it says that let's check out that again it says that the, it should start from zero and ends up on nine, minus 90 and this is exactly what we have here okay starts from zero and ends up on us at nine uh, minus 90. okay compare between our result which is the blue the red line with the blue line that comes from the matlab so it's pretty satisfied what we got here i hope this what this was helpful for you